we're not in a rush to really rotate, but you're going to want to start off with the crosswind corrections. Let it build up good airspeed. This is where you use a little bit of discretion on the climb out. So the winds are gusting a little bit. You don't want to be at a slow enough, uh, slow airspeed, so you can actually just lower the nose, maybe climb out at 80 instead of like 76. Alright, so our rotation speed's 59, our 76 will be our climb, and that we might do 79, 80. Yep. A whole bunch of traffic around us. You should really start flying with your VFR chart. Any traffic on your side? No. Uh, there was, I don't see him. He's way out there. We could go. Lakewood traffic, Archer 41 Juliet Alpha is departing runway 24, departing to the southeast. Lakewood. Confirm, take off power set, engine instruments in the green, airspeed's alive. Lakewood traffic, Cessna final, 2-4 Lakewood. But I had to do a short field takeoff. Squirrely, huh? A little bit of nose up. Let's get that airspeed slightly slower. Right about 800 feet, we'll depart on a heading of uh, 210. Watch your wind drift, we're getting pushed pretty good. Yeah. It's like fighting it just to get it stabilized, you know? You gotta do it. Yeah. Alright, 800 feet, let's go to 210. Uh, what, climb up to 1500? Let's climb up to 1500. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's shown winds at 22 knots at 313 right now here. Yeah, it'll help us get to the shoreline a little quicker. Uh-huh. Let's head towards the uh, Towns River Bridge over there, the bridge over there. Go ahead and uh, switch to radio number one. Turn this one off. November 169. So you want to want to switch that knob to COM1. So we can. Okay. There we go. Now we're. In. Yep. Oh, we're good. Right. Exactly. November 169. We're just going to monitor the. Unless you want to practice pick up, picking up flight following. Nine Lima Papa Squawk 0436. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, and A. You think it's necessary? To I don't know. If you, they, it helps with flight advisories. If you want to practice some, uh, just radio calls to pick it up flight following. Once we get to the Bay Area, we'll start clearing turns and so like that you can go right into the S turns. Okay. You want me to go towards LBI? Yeah, we just start doing S turns towards that direction. We are one seventy two two thousand five hundred, November one six nine Lima Papa. Roger. Fire approach November seven seven three Mike Sierra three thousand five hundred. Number 773 Max here, Maguire approach, the altimeter 290. Cruise checklist. 9973 Max here. Go pump off. Roger. Cruise power, make sure your instruments. Uh, Alright. Power already set. I'll lean it on a little. Just a smidge, yep. Yeah. Think about there. Yeah, that'll work. Or pedo heat, like it's like that. Uh, it's just part of the uh, checklist. So if you put the pedo heat on, it goes away. Okay. Just letting you know that the pedo heat is uh, off. Okay. So pedo heat off slash an op. So we turn it on. It's not an op. It's just off. All right. Let's do some clearing turns. That way we can end up 90 degree going over the uh, beach. We'll cross at a 90 degree angles and we'll do some S turns. Do you want me to go perpendicular to the beach? Once we're done with the clearing turns, okay. the clearing turns, yep. You do S turns in the 172? Um, no, you know what? I don't think I have to do. I know we did them over Lacey Road, remember? Yep. Turns around a point. So the goal with the S-turns is when you're crossing perpendicular across the road, you are 90 degree angles, you're, you're, you're going to do some uh, equal radius turns on both sides of the road or reference line. Something over there. Yeah, I got them in sight. Doing clearing turns too. I'm going to do one to the right now or just go right yep, over? Yep, we'll go right into, we'll go into the right and by that point... We'll do them southbound. How about that? Miles, stationary. Uh, type an altitude unknown. Uh, three Charlie Mike, negative contact. Yeah, we'll do it that way. That's fine. So you got a road right here. That Thirty-five takes yep. you all the way down. Yep. So go right into it. There's your perpendicular. You just go right into it. So you're gonna want to keep it right about a wingtip. So that's that's your distance right there. We can use the GPS to tell us that we started with the tailwind. So that's gonna be your steepest bank. And we're going to do this at 107 airspeed, that's our entry, and at 1500 altitude, that's our entry altitude. But once you start coming out this way, start looking off to the left side, because that's the direction of your turn, and you want to make sure the air is clear. Watch your pitch. A little too steep for your bank angle, so we're pretty much still over Route 35. Uh, wind is crazy, so, huh? Uh-huh. So on this one, you, you got no choice but to just make it steeper and cross it at a 90 degrees, so you're just going to bank it, increase that bank angle, try to cross it perpendicular. On the next one, you know not to go to a 20 degree bank turn. You're probably going to use maybe something like uh, 5 degrees. 
Don't stay glued too much to your road. Keep going, keep turning, because you're crossing out an angle. There you go, that's perpendicular. And go into the right. So you can see here's your steep bank. You got approximately 20 to 25 degrees, so that's pretty standard. So you know exactly what to go for when you're on this side of the road and the winds. So you rolled out of that bank a little too early. Yeah, we're before the road and we're wings level. Very shallow on this side. So now you're going to have your ground speed really slow. We can confirm that with the Aspen. Indicators 105. So you keep it really shallow. So you can get that same equal distance on the other side of the road. So basically I'm keeping the wing tip on the road. Yep. Wing tip works for this airplane. We're just ahead of it, really. You can actually see here. That first turn helps you. you. Ended up doing it very steep, so it came out a little, a little short. That's still 35, by the way. Is it? Yeah. 